everybody, happy Monday. It's Miss Dolby back again. And this week I will be doing your home learning with you whilst Miss Cook is in school with the key worker children. So I hope you had an amazing week last week. I really enjoyed seeing all of your videos and your pictures on tapestry. And this week we're gonna keep going with our phonics and our maths and there'll also be some extra videos popping up to go with our wider curriculum. So in today's phonics video, we've got a new sound to learn. But before we do that, let's whiz through all of our sounds, including the new ones that you did with Miss Cook last week. I hope you can remember them all. Let's go through them. Ready? Okay. Ooh. Here we go. Ready? Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Er. Well done. Mm. Do you remember this new one? We learnt it last week. Remember what it is? Imagine you've got a weight in your hand. Mm. Very good. I wonder what the difference is between these. One of them is a digraph, and one of them just a graphene, it's just got one letter. This one is I, I, I. T, t, t. Ah, ah, ah. Remember this one? Fantastic, like you a train. This is another new one. Do you remember? There was the soft and the hard. Very good. That one's my favourite one. And again, have another look. Which one is the digraph? It's this one, isn't it? It's got two letters and one sound. Fantastic. And another. Well done. And a third one. G, g, g. D, d, d. Mm. B, b, b. Remember this one? Pretend you've got a duck's beak. And back to again. Fantastic. Okay, let's whiz through our camera words and our keywords. Now, this time I've actually got some cameras with me. So we're going to do it that way. Are you ready? I've got some little cameras and some big cameras. Let's start off with the big ones. Are you ready? The first one is I. Well done. Go. No. The. Two, into, and back to I. Well done. Right, let's move on to our keywords. Are you ready? Ooh. The first one is one that we learnt at the end of last week. Do you remember what it is? She. Well done, because can you remember? We've got that shh sound at the front. B. Ooh, dropping them. <laughs> What's that one? He. Me. Was. We. And back to she. Fantastic. Okay, well done everybody. I hope that you remembered them all and maybe you even got there before I did. Okay, so today we are going to be learning a new sound. And our new sound is another digraph. 
but this time it's a digraph that's made up of two vowels and it is this one and the sound is a are you ready my turn a your turn my turn a your turn fantastic and can you see what two letters is our new a sound made up of it's made up of a a and an i an a and an i and together they make the sound a let's have a look at our picture from our story and see what our new action is so for our new sound a move myself there can you see look there is a doctor and the doctor is li looking at the little boy and the little boy is poorly which is why he's at the doctor's and he's got his hand around his ear can you see look he's got his hand around his ear because his ear is poorly and she's talking to him and he can't hear her and he's going a a and that is our new action so put your hand by your ear and you've got to pretend you can't hear and you're going a a but you're asking them what are you saying to me shall we practice it one more time ready a a fantastic now what are the things can you see in our picture that might have the a sound in hmm. i can see up here a snail and snail has an a sound in now when we've been thinking about sounds before we've been thinking about where the sound is in the word and quite often when we've been looking at a new sound the sound is at the start of the word and that is the case in some words but a lot of the time our a sound is in the middle of a word can you see here the word sail has the a in the middle of the sound and snail is the same it's got the a in the middle of the sound we've also got down here pain pain the little boy is in pain something hurts and it's p a n pain and the a is in the middle of the word we've got one more here and can you see the a is at the start of the word because it's a m aim to aim at something is like to try and get something where you might aim to kick a football into a football net so you're trying to do something fantastic so our new sound is a let's have a look at how we write our a sound okay okay here we go we're going to have a go at writing our a sound now remember our a sound is made up of a a or an a and an i an i so we're going to try and write both of them we already know how to write both of them we've got a curly caterpillar letter for the first one and if you have a look on our youtube channel a little bit later in the week you'll see Mrs Binding showing us how to practice our curly caterpillar letters. So maybe you could even try this sound when you practice. So let's have a go, you ready? We're going to go entry stroke up and stop, round the apple, up and down the leaf. And then we're gonna do our I. So we're gonna entry stroke up and stop, down and dot at the top. Let's try that one more time, are you ready? Get your magic fingers ready. Entry stroke up and stop. Round the apple and down the leaf. And then we've got entry stroke up and stop, down and a dot. Now it'd be even more amazing if you can actually try and connect the two of them up. Let's try it here, ready? Entry stroke up and stop. Round the apple, down the leaf, and then keep going all the way up down and a dot did you see that my pen didn't stop there's no gap between them okay right then let's have a look at some words that have our a sound in i'm just going to get rid of that and we can have a look here we go here are some words with our a sound in now over here i've spotted a little friend who is it it's a snail and our snail has the a sound in Let's put in our sound buttons and then we can have a go at sounding out some of these words as well. We've got, I'm going to make my pen a little bit smaller. S, n, a, l, snail, with the a sound in. Down here, we've got something that a train might go on. A little bit like a train track is called a rail. A rail. And let's have a look. We've got r, a, l rail we've also got somewhere that people might be put 
if they are arrested, if they've done something naughty. And it's jail. We've got j, a, ooh. We've also got this. What's this? You might use a hammer to get it into something. It's called a nail. Absolutely. And it's a n, a, ooh. And lastly, we've got something that comes down from the sky. It's rain. Rain. Let's have a look. R a n. Rain. Fantastic. There's lots of lots of words that have our new a sound in, aren't there? Let's have a go at reading some of them. So the first one. Let me just get rid of these little marks. Is quite a long word because it's got our two letters in the middle but we can read it let's have a look are you ready we're going to use our sound buttons to help us we've got a t eight get your robot arms up ready eight wait wait the word is wait like you're waiting in a line shall we see if we're right have a look. Ooh. We are, look, can you see the people are all waiting in a line? Let's see what the next one is. Ready? Okay. Oh, okay. Let's sound this one out as well. Are you ready? We've got p a p a p a n Pain, pain, let's have a look if we're right. Pain, the lady has got a pain in her tummy. Just like the little boy had a pain in his ear, which is why he was going, a hey, a. Hey. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. We're gonna have a go at writing this one. Now, what do you think the picture is pointing to? The dog's tail, absolutely. And tail, I'm just going to move myself there, has the the sound A in it, doesn't it? Tail. Where does the sound A come? At the start, the middle, or the end? Tail. It's in the middle, isn't it? So let's have a go at writing it together. The first sound is tail. T. It's a T, isn't it? So we're going to go entry stroke up and stop. All the way down and cross. So we've got T. A, it's our A sound. Do you remember what two sound, what two letters make up our A sound? It's an A and an I, isn't it? So we've got the A in our A, and then the I and a dot. T A O. What's the last sound? T A O. It's an O, isn't it? There we go. We've got T A O tail. And the word is tail. Well done. Fantastic. Now we're going to have a go at reading this sentence. I'm going to move myself up here so we can see it. Right, let's have a look. Let's get our word buttons and that we can see if they can help us. So the first word is, we've got s, a, m, mm, s, a, m, mm, s, a, m. Sam, Sam, and we've got g, o, t, g, o, t, got, Sam, got, can you sound this one out, w, e, t, wet, Sam, got, wet, oh we know this one, it's one of our keywords, it's in, Sam, got, wet, in, this is another one of our keywords, the and last one is r. There's our new digraph a mm, rain rain rain. Sam got wet in the rain. Fantastic. It does look a little bit like Sam getting a little bit soggy, doesn't it? And I wonder if you got a bit soggy on a walk last week. It was a bit rainy, wasn't it? And today's challenge is all about thinking about the weather. So have a look at our daily plan and have a go at writing some words with the A sound in. Have fun and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.